Do you find yourself avoiding a lot of stuff so you don't get nervous and don't upset your anxiety or OCD? We're gonna talk all about it. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a child therapist and I make videos for kids with anxiety or OCD. And today I wanna to talk to you about avoidance because avoidance impacts both people with anxiety or OCD and OCD. Whether you have one, the other, or both, avoidance is probably part of your lifestyle. And that's not surprising because whenever we feel fearful or anxious or uncomfortable or disgusted or uncertain, the best response that our anxiety or OCD can give us is don't do it, avoid, right? Don't look over there, don't separate, don't say that words, don't have that thought, don't go to that activity, don't do that thing right? Avoidance all around. And it will be different for each one of you depending on your theme and what's going on for you. But the avoidance is the same across the board. Anxiety and OCD love avoidance. And the more you do it, avoid, the bigger anxiety or OCD grows. So the next time you are avoiding something, and it can be different for each one of you, it could be touching something, it could be saying something, it could be doing something, it could be anything that's related to your theme. The next time you find yourself avoiding something that's uncomfortable or disgusting or makes you feel nervous or uneasy, everyone will have different feelings, right? It's not always fear. You wanna ask yourself, is this one of my themes? Is this something on my anxiety or OCD plate? Is this a main dish or a side dish of something that bothers me? And if it is, then you wanna be very suspicious and you wanna say, do I need to avoid this? And even if I wanna avoid it, is there something I can do to take a baby step in the right direction and move towards my fear? A lot of times for me, having social anxiety, um, I feel like my social anxiety is gone and my anxiety is like, woohoo, she thinks we're not here anymore. Awesome, right? And then I am invited to do something, maybe something out of my comfort zone. And my anxiety will say, I think you're too busy. I don't think you can do that. Or, you know, I think that just sounds like something you wouldn't normally want to do. So let's just avoid that. And it will convince me that it's boring or it's not worth it or it's going to take too much time or it's just whatever. Anything but what it really will be, which is awkward and uncomfortable and socially anxious. So when I detect that and I say, "Ugh, is this my social anxiety? And then my little voice goes, yes, you know it is. Then I make myself do it. And if I can't do it completely, I make myself at least do some of it. So even if you can't fully not avoid, you want to dip your feet in the water of bravery and dip your feet in the water of discomfort and do a little bit of it at a time. Something is more than nothing. So instead of just blanketly ignoring and avoiding whatever it is that's causing you distress, dabble over there and see how long you can handle that discomfort. Well, I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do and I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.